top of the morning to you. I'm going to show you real quick here how to make a set of electrical test leads. Uh, sometimes they're called clip leads or test leads. Doesn't matter. Um, these are kind of the backbone of the electrical electronics industry as the modern office still has its paper clip. The uh, electrical industry has its test leads or clip leads. And uh, you can get these little clips down at the car parts store, or you can order them online. Um, you could, if you have one of the um, dollar stores, sometimes you can find them there. Or the, the what I call a dollar or the crap tool store, they have them there. They're not very expensive. Um, the nice thing about making your own, you can buy test leads, and they range from almost unusable crap to uh, probably pretty nice uh, professionally made ones that are I've seen them as high as ten dollars a lead uh, there's nothing to stop you from uh, doing that but uh, I find I have a little more pride in my equipment if I make some of the tools myself so what I've done here is I went and I've got uh, two out of the box and this wire is some uh, 16 gauge strand wire. Uh, you can buy that again at the car parts store or electrical supply house. Actually, um, about a month ago I wrecked out an old washing machine and before I uh, took it to the salvage yard I stripped it and it yielded about 20 feet of uh, multicolored wire. And this happens to be uh, black or a black wire and a white wire with a red tracer. I don't know, I find that the different colors help me keep track of things when I'm working on it. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to solder these up real quick. Um, you'll need some solder also. And uh, I find that uh, I have better luck with uh, one of the bigger soldering guns. You can use a soldering pencil or a little soldering iron. Um, this particular one is a uh, this is a Weller a D550. Don't run out and buy one just to make some clip leads. This is one I just happen to have close at hand. This one's actually a Powercraft. It was branded for uh, by Weller for Wards. There's a number of these floating around. Anyway, uh, first thing you do is go ahead and pull the boots off. And one of the things you may want to do is look the boots over, make sure there aren't any rips or tears, or sometimes the tips don't get cut off to open that on. And what I do is I go ahead and slide them on the wire. I've went ahead and stripped this wire back already. It's stranded, and I used uh, a Leatherman. It has a little stripping attachment in here. Excuse me, I guess I... How about help if I open that up? It has all stripping attachment. You can use a wire stripper or um, whatever you've got at hand. And one of the things I've found over the years that helps quite a bit, if you want to, there's nothing to stop you from getting some flux and putting a little flux on each one of these joints. It won't hurt anything. It might help you. I take these little crescent wrenches and just clip the leads on the end there and there's a little hole and there's little fingers there and what I do is I twist the wire up and thread it through the hole and then lay it down throw the Leatherman on there and let's try that again Go ahead. And what that does is it kind of bends that wire back and kind of pinches it up against the body of the test lead. So it makes kind of an L shape. It goes across the test lead through the hole and back across the test lead through those little fingers. Then what you do is get your solder iron and go ahead and get it warmed up.
track your solder, because I certainly don't. And you might want to tin the tip a little bit. And I'm using this hotter gun because it uh, it'll heat the lead up relatively quickly. And this shouldn't take a long time. Just go ahead and just I just take it and smash it down on there and feed the solder in between the lead, the iron, and the wire. And then try and get all the weeds or all the little pieces of wire in there soldered and that's it. You're done. Um, it'll be pretty warm for a little bit. Uh, if you mess around too long you'll overheat the lead and you'll melt the wire back in here and that's not not too good thing. You want to look, have this look as professional as possible. And this is a good way to learn how to solder without uh, um, damaging something major. If you know if you mess this up, nobody's gonna cry their eyes out. Again, I just heat the iron up. I push it down on the, the wire in between the lead and then I feed the solder right in between there. And you'll see it when it gets good and hot, it'll spread out. I like that. Okay. And if you noticed, I made a tiny mistake. I didn't put the boot on that one. But this isn't a big deal because I've got this. Uh, I haven't put the other end on. You'll eventually, no matter how hard to try, um, get the black one on that one. You will eventually put one of these together, or you'll put something together that needs a part on before you solder something on. And you'll forget it. It's uh, it's kind of like, well, what it is, it's it's like working in the electronics industry. If you've never got, if you claim you've never gotten a shock, you're either you've never done very much in the electronics industry, or you're a really big liar. So this is the same thing. If you've uh, built some test leads or ever put the end on a piece of coax or something and uh, claim that you've never forgot to put the boot on or the connector and then soldered it you've either never done very many or you're a big darn liar and this really doesn't take very long it's kind of a rainy day thing I try and keep up on this I uh, I probably lose as many leads as I make or they get damaged or squashed or burned up. Like I said, they're kind of the paper clip of the electronics industry and so they're somewhat disposable. The nice thing about this is you can use heavier wire, you can use you can buy some bigger clips if you want. You can buy different colors. You can make them as long as you want, which is always nice. You can make them as short as you want, which is always nice too. There we go. We're pretty much done. Try and wait a little bit for them to cool off. Um, another thing that happens if you're in the soldering or probably welding industry or electronics is you get so many burns on your hands you become kind of impervious to pain. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. There's a little tiny pair of tongs there. And what you're going to do is take some needle nose. You can use pliers. And you squeeze them together a little bit and fold them over so that they grab the wire. I don't know if it's kind of hard to see. Oh, cool. There you go. That's pretty good. Do that on every lead. It just secures the wire. Uh, 
if you do that step ahead of time before you solder the wire, what happens is the heat from the soldering iron and the clip melt the wire and it loses tension. Then you just slide those boots on there. I find that if I open them up, you, they slide on a little quicker. Okay, you're ready to rock. That probably took, I don't know how long. I didn't plan on editing this because I was hoping that uh, something might potentially go awry. You'd see what happens in the real world. Uh, nothing personal, but a lot of videos, they, uh, they edit them down and they edit out the mistakes. Well, then when a mistake happens, you don't know what to do. Not that you would probably have a big mistake on these. And there you go. You got some nice test leads to work on your car or whatever. Anyway, if you have a question, uh, feel free to ask it. Uh, if you want to leave a comment or you can join my channel. I'm probably going to be doing more uh, things. I found that uh, people have a pretty positive response to these kinds of things. They've never done them before or they want to see how somebody else is potentially doing them. And uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of information on the channel and uh, there's a lot of people sharing ideas and stuff. And I thought I would share some of the things I do day to day. Anyway, enough of that. Have a good day and go make yourself some test leads. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.